Do you want to grow bigger and succeed as a Titanfall 2 YouTuber? I'm going to show you how by just doing a few things that can help you grow, succeed and improve as a Titanfall 2 content creator on YouTube. Let's get into it. Throughout when I first started YouTube, I'd always thought that growing quickly as a new Titanfall 2 YouTuber was impossible. I always thought that because the game had no fresh content, it was impossible to make it over 500 subscribers quickly just through Titanfall 2 content. But these next few tips I'm going to talk about have shown past me very, very wrong. I started realizing I was wrong as soon as I saw Modin31 blow up. I remember going to his streams ages ago when he was under 500 followers and chilling with him and then he blew up on YouTube. He went from under 500 to subscribers to now 10,000. This was insane. And for more proof, I went from around 400 to 500 subscribers and skyrocketed to over 2,000 subscribers and now get an average of 500 subscribers every month. Synth, another channel, posted a specific video, got over 100,000 views and is now over 3K subscribers. He went from under 300 to 3K in the expanse of a month. So I asked myself, why? Why? What do you need to do to get this growth? And here's my video to best explain it. You've got to understand that Titanfall 2 as a YouTube category isn't saturated at all. By this, I mean there isn't many YouTubers making fresh content that gets lots of views. When I ask you to think of Titanfall 2 YouTubers, some spring to mind, but not loads. And you can use this to your advantage. How? I've categorized it into four categories, demand, fresh content, riding the wave, and quality. These may seem like some generic stuff that you don't understand, so let me explain what each of these mean. First off, let's start with the easiest one to understand, quality. There is so little new YouTubers for Titanfall 2 making interesting videos that people will watch. Stop uploading random gameplay, stop uploading things that people don't care about, stop uploading for the sake of uploading, please upload interesting quality videos. An easy way to figure out whether your video or your videos on your channel are good quality is ask yourself and be critical here. Ask yourself whether if you saw that video on your recommended, knew nothing about the creator but only saw the video on your recommended, firstly, would you even click on it? And secondly, would you watch it to the end? If this is a no, then your video probably could be much better quality. If these are genuine good answers of yes, then that's good. A good tip for quality videos is to have an editing program on a laptop or PC. There are plenty of free ones and just learn to use it to make your videos look good and flow nicely. Secondly, add your voice. No one wants to watch silent gameplay if you are a new creator. Add your voice and face if you want to. And looking back at my videos before I grew a lot, they weren't good quality at all. I would have never clicked on them if I saw them on my recommended, but now I would genuinely watch my videos if they came up and weren't mine. Second, demand. The next tip is situational. Demand is about what do people want to know. At the time at which me and Modin grew massively, it was DDoS. Modin was the first person to make a video about Titanfall 2 getting DDoSed, and it skyrocketed. As for my video, that also blew up about every server getting DDoSed. At the time, this is what people wanted to know about. They wanted all the latest news and updates about the DDoS, and you need to recognize what do people want to know now. However, you can't rely too much on this because sometimes there really is just not much happening with the game. Game. But if you can hop on something that people want to know before anyone else, you have a much higher chance at pulling more viewers. For example, just off the top of my head instantly, you could make a video about the Sydney servers being down at the moment, or you can't play the Sydney servers. Make a video on how likely Titanfall 3 is going to happen. These are just from my head, I took no time to like think of these at all, just straight away from my head. And this is what you want to think of. What do people want to see on YouTube? And this next one kind of pairs with demand. Riding the wave. 
Once a video goes well for you, like very well, and you get, for example, upwards of 1k views on your video, don't stop there. You need to get straight out with next videos, potentially about the same topic, and theoretically ride the wave of popularity. This is what I see Modern, Synth, and me doing, making videos straight after a good burst of views to make the most of interest, and if you're lucky, that hard work will mean you pull a lot more average views than normal over the long term. And lastly, it's just making fresh new content. Titanfall 2 is 6 years old. Everyone has seen a gauntlet run or a high kill game by now. You need to be fresh, inspirational, and create new content that people have never seen before. For example, Modern's The Psychology of Spitfire Campers was a genius idea. Fresh content that is interesting and fun to watch. Synth's Titanfall 3 leaks got me like... Again, a brilliant idea, making something for people to enjoy whilst also grabbing their attention with the thought of being excited for Titanfall 3 leaks. And finally, recently I've been making more content that has never been done before, such as the 7 types of Titanfall 2 players, or different stereotypes about different things in the game. So to sum it all up, if you're a Titanfall 2 YouTuber and you want to grow and succeed, make videos that are new. Make videos that you'd actually watch if you saw them. Please stop making generic content that is just boring gameplay. And if you stick to all of these and improve yourself through all of these and do it well, I promise you that you will improve. I can't, I can't predict how much you will improve, how much you'll, I don't know, get views or get subscribers. But you will improve from what you're doing now. I hope this helps you guys get started in the right direction for YouTube content for Titanfall 2. Who knows, maybe I'll be seeing some of you guys on my recommended in the future. And before you go, comment whether you'd like some Forza Horizon 5 content as well on the channel, as I've just brought the game and I'm super excited to play it. Thank you all and have a good one.